How to convert, burn, backup, copy, and edit DVDs using iSkySoft iMedia Converter Deluxe. So today I'm going to show you the DVD editing power inside of iMedia Converter Deluxe. The first thing we'll take a look at is how to convert a DVD. So I'm going to go ahead and load a DVD into my computer. And once the DVD is connected with our computer, all we need to do is click on load DVD and we'll select this one right here. It's in our F drive, which is my DVD player. And then we can choose the load model, whether we want just the main movie or all the movies. If you have just one video file on your DVD, you can just click on main movie, but if you have multiple files, click on all movies. Then it's going to analyze and load up the DVD for us. And now all we need to do is edit our DVD, so I can click on the trim button, or I can crop it or click on effects. And inside of here, we can make some adjustments to our video. For example, I could increase the contrast of our video, say we were playing on a different type of monitor. If I wanted to, I could also watermark this. I'll go ahead and add a quick watermark here. And I'll just put that in the bottom right and decrease the transparency a little bit. And I think that's pretty good for editing our video here. And we'll just click on OK to confirm those changes. And now all we need to do is select an output format for our video. So I'll go into the convert all files to here and under video, I'll go ahead and just change this to an MP4 video and we'll do 720p and now we can just click on convert and it's going to take that video file from our DVD and convert it to our format and apply the editing changes we made. And now we've successfully converted that video. It's now locally on our computer and we have access to it. Next up, let's take a look at how we can burn a DVD with any of the files we import. So what we'll do is we'll go over to burn and we're going to click on add files and we'll find a video that we want to burn to this DVD. Here I have this nice drone footage that I want to burn onto this DVD. You can go in and edit it if you need to, but usually you want the final version of your video ready for the DVD. And then over here on the right, we can select a template of what kind of DVD menu we want. Let's go ahead and do the journey one since it's kind of an outdoorsy type video. And we can also name our DVD. We can select the menu type, which you've already done. The aspect ratio, you'll probably want 16 by 9. Your TV standard depends on what country you're in. And quality, we'll just set to high quality. You can also click on this edit button here to edit your DVD a bit. You can change the background picture or background music, and you can also change the text. Just like that, so now we have drone video there, and we'll just click on OK. I'm going to insert a blank DVD into my drive here. You can also select the DVD type down here, and these are Blu-rays right here, but most DVDs are 4.7 gigabytes. And once your DVD is loaded, just click on Burn. And now it's going to start the process of burning your DVD. And once your DVD is finished burning, it should say burn the video or videos to the DVD disc completed. You can burn another one if you want, or you can click on got it to save it. Now let's take a look at how we can back up a DVD. To do this, again, we're going to make sure we load our DVD. And we'll click on main movie or all movies. And we can also make sure we don't show this again. And to simply back this up on our computer, we just need to select the output format again that we want. This time I'll go ahead and convert it to a low quality MOV for simple backup purposes. And I'll go ahead and change the name to MOV DJ DVD and click on convert. And now we've successfully converted that. To see where it's been saved to, we'll just go over here to converted. And you can see we have our MOV DJ DVD. We can just click on this open file location button and it's going to show us the video inside of our computer. And inside of here, we can go ahead and start playing our video. And now we have a backup on our computer. And lastly, let's take a look at how to edit our DVD. This is pretty simple as well. Again, we're going to load our DVD. And to edit it, we can click on any of these various buttons. For example, we can trim it up. Let's say we want to get rid of this little intro here. So I'll wait until it's done. And I'll go ahead and drag this out here. I cut it right here. And I'll delete this first segment. And I need to cut this out as well. 
And now we have the video starting at a more appropriate time. And we can also trim off the end if we need to. And now we've trimmed up our video and done some basic editing. We can save it. And you can see it's separated into different segments. So now we can actually have different segments to export. If you're not sure what the segments look like, you can just click on the play button and it's going to play what the segment looks like. So that's the segment I want. So I'll go ahead and delete the first one. And let's make a few more changes here. We'll add some effects. I'm just going to, let's go ahead and make it black and white. So I'll decrease the saturation all the way. And we can also click on auto enhance to enhance our video quality, which is really cool. I'm going to increase the brightness just a little bit. And if we want to, we can also rotate our video and flip it so I can reverse the order of it here and make it have the other way. And click on OK to save. And we'll just select a format to change these two. Let's go ahead and save this as a WMV low quality and click on convert. And now we've successfully edited our DVD. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how to convert, burn, backup, copy, and edit DVDs using iSkySoft iMedia Converter Deluxe.